Gender inequality is a huge issue all over the world. It is an even bigger problem here in Nigeria, which is currently ranked 128 out of 153 countries on the Global Gender Parity Index. Almost 60 years after the, this West African country gained independence, its women are still bound by oppressive traditions, religion, and discriminatory laws. From allowing husbands to beat their wives and get away with it, into prohibiting married women from setting jobs. And joining me live in the studio to discuss this further is the founder, Queen Warriors, Iria Ri. Thank you, Iria Ri, for joining us on News on the Hour. Thank you for having me. Now, what would you ascribe to be the root causes of violence against women in Nigeria? Well, there are several causes of okay. violence right now. First of all, low self esteem. I say low self-esteem because it, that, that is both on the victims and the abusers. If, um, for example, the, the abuser feels threatened by the woman, it's easy for him to vent in, in a bit to have some or exercise some power and control over her. Okay and all of that, low self-esteem, mental health issues as well. That one is um, highly underrated right now. A lot of people are going through all of that. Then, um, like a circle, there's also this circle, maybe the abuser has been abused before and there was no help, there was no intervention. All he knows is to take it out on the person as well. I yeah, yeah, I hear you when you, when you say abuse people, abuse people. Yes. What, what, what role does our tradition, our culture, our religion play in all of this violence against women, being perpetrated against women, if I may ask? Well, for women, um, we're really holding the short end of the stick right now. First of all, when you go to church or in church, they tell you you can't divorce your spouse. You know, you have to pray to God. And for the culture, you can't just leave your husband's house because he beat you up and all of that. You have to make it work. You have to be there for the children. You have to be a wife, be a woman. You have to take everything that comes. God will help you when it's within the religious circle. What, what is your take on patriarchy? <sighs> That's right now. Do you think this is the bane of most of the adverse ills being perpetrated against women in Nigeria? It is. It okay. is because men in Africa or in Nigeria have been trained to believe they are superior to the women. So with that in their, their minds, they feel you can't challenge me or you can't do anything I don't authorize you to do. You, you can't go against me. I'm superior to you. And that can lead to violence if, if challenged in any form. Okay, well, in, in, your, in your expert opinion, what would you say is needed? How do we put an end to violence against women and, and the girl child in particular? What needs to be done? What must be done? For me, my, my organization, Queen Warriors, we, yes. we focus on the rehabilitation of abused women and girls. What we try to do there is to empower the girls or the women that have been abused. But even before the abuse, I think you can begin to make them know who they are, build up their self-esteem to start with. Because if that is in the proper place, we would not have issues of not knowing what to accept and what not to accept, not knowing what is abuse and what is not abuse, because people just feel abuse is physical alone. There are several aspects to that. But if, if they are being talked to and they are being empowered, in their minds especially, they would not be in such situations in the first place. All right, Iria Ri, founder Queen Warriors, thank you for joining us and for training more light on violence against women in Nigeria and for your contribution. Thank you.